This video covers the FARS Grade 6. Now, Grade 6 is special because in order to pass, you have to skate it in front of a panel of judges. And to do that, you normally wear official skating attire. However, I'm going to add an additional accessory. And you can too, if you want to. Grade 6 comprises of four individual elements, but it's quite common to combine one and three. This is because element one is turning from forwards to backwards, and element three is turning forwards again. Turn from forwards to backwards using an inside heel-to-heel -heel turn in both directions. The turn from forwards to backwards you may recognise because it looks very similar to an open boot turn. But for grade six, it has to be skated on one foot, heel to heel, and then back onto one foot backwards. So let's do it moving. And we're going to do it counterclockwise first because it always seems to be the way that most people are comfortable. Right. So we're going to do an inside edge, and then we're going to do a heel to heel turn. Now, this position is very similar to a spread eagle position where you're here. So that might help you to think of getting your feet in that heel heel position. Right, so right inside edge, heel heel, and then we're going to lift and go onto a back inside edge. So think about keeping that curve the whole time. And of course, other way, forward inside on the left foot, heel to heel, and then on the right foot on an inside edge backwards. Starting on alternate feet, step forwards from a back outside edge, A, onto a forward outside edge, B, onto a forward inside edge. Element three that we're going to add on to the end of element one is turning from backwards to forwards. So let me show you that one. So we need to be able to turn onto an inside edge and onto an outside edge. So I'm going to do the outside edge first. So I'm going to be on a back outside edge. This foot's going to come round and I'm going to push onto an outside edge. When you do this turn from backwards to forwards, you do your back outside edge and your low. So you can turn, you need to come up and then you need to do your rolling T. So you're pushing from here so you can get the C curve of your edge when you step forwards. With element three, there are a number of variations that you need to practice. Right back outside, to left forward outside. Right back outside, to left forward inside. Left back outside, to right forward outside. Left outside, to right forward inside. Now you understand what element one and element three are, we can put them together. I'm gonna to do element one, so right forward inside, left forward inside, which is my turn. Then I'm gonna do a back outside and step forward onto a left outside. Here we go. So right inner, left inner, right back, left forward outside. Now the key here is to keep the shoulders rotating the whole time and think about the whole thing being on a curve. So my shoulders are in the circle, but now they're turning and as I step forward, don't leave the right shoulder behind. Make sure as you step forward, that shoulder comes around. It's really important. It's a nice flow. And you need to be able to do it in the other direction. So this time when we step forward, we're gonna step forward onto the inside edge. So my turn on the two inside edges, left back outside, but this time when I step forward, I'm gonna go onto an inside. When you step forward onto that inside, it's really important that this foot comes behind into that T-push position. Skate four continuous back outside edges on alternated feet with the free leg extended to the front. To keep the roll and the momentum between edges, we're going to need to do a rolling T-push. But it's going to be slightly different because this time we're doing it backwards. backwards. The majority of your weight needs to be on these inside wheels here because that's what we're going to push ourselves away from and immediately lean on that little toe. And then we're going to come together and the same thing and we're going to push away immediately onto that little toe. Feet together and push. This takes a lot of bravery because you have to lean into your edge. And if you've got slippy wheels on, you may find yourself a little unstable because they can slip out from under you. 
So take your time to get the feel of this. If you're finding it really uncomfortable, you can keep the other foot on the floor like this. until you build up enough courage to start leaning and lifting the other foot. The four continuous outside edges can be done from a rolling start if you prefer. Always remember that this annoying person here has been skating since you could walk and my muscles have had years and years of training to be able to get this push. Skate four continuous forward cross rolls showing an understanding of the edges required. The forward cross rolls are quite a complex skill and I will link to an individual video that's just dedicated to them but I will cover them quickly here to show you what they are and how to do them. So these are done on forward outside edges. So there's a bend and then you come up and the foot comes round. This is the cross and you go on to the left outside edge. Then you go on your edge and then you cross back onto the right outside edge like this. So I'm keeping my shoulders quite square here. So there's a rise and fall to these cross rolls. And then I come up and back down. So I come up when I change feet and I go back down again. <laughs> you know that slip I was saying about earlier? That was it right there. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video series. Now some of these skills are quite complex and I do have detailed videos which I will put into playlists for you. Now if you are taking your grades I wish you the best of luck and don't forget any skater can use these as a fantastic foundation for any type of skating. I'm Katie, you've been watching Skatey and I'll see you next time. Bye!